I was watching it, the recent address that Professor Black Truth did when he was talking about Jerome Adams, that lumpy little Bill Head ass bastard. I swear that man got more lumps in his head than an undone road on 495. But anyway, I, you know, I was listening to his address. I started to read through the comments and someone mentioned something about the opioid plague. And I said, hmm, my specialty, the thing that really kicked off or lit the fire under this channel. And I said to myself, they've been real hush. Well, to be honest, lamestream media has always been real hush, in my honest opinion, about the opioid plague and its connection. Or should I say, I guess you could say merging with this virus. So I went in search of an article and I found the perfect one from Forbes.com that was posted three weeks ago on the 5th of April. And it says the opioid plague meets the woo woo pandemic. We'll just call it when opie meets woo woo. Isn't that just a match made in hillbilly? This is with potentially dead results. Now, they had all this smoke for, you know, with Chicago and all these shootings that claim that happens that they cannot find a suspect for and all types of stuff like that. But they left out the opioid plague. Hmm. I wonder why. Oh, I know it's because it's dealing with only only with mainly palm colored people. For the most part, not saying it's not any other groups that aren't getting high on opioids, anything like that. That would be that would be um, me, dealing, you know, saying stuff in absolutes. That's not correct. But the main users or should I say abusers of that drug are palm colored people. They were very quiet about that. But then again, are we surprised? Let me get into this. For the 16 million people globally and 3 million people in the U.S. suffering from the opioid use disorder, they they actually have now a, a now they've labeled it a disorder. Congratulations. They have labeled opi the plague a disorder. The woo woo brings a slew of issues, lack of face to face counseling services, methadone clinic shut down and increased mortality risk from the virus from underlying respiratory damage. Basically, those, uh, I, I want to call them setup shops, those little pop-up shops that they had for them, the, uh, I forgot what it was called, the ones in the tents, they can't really, I guess you could say, frequent those anymore because they have to do the social distancing thing. It says, poverty and unemployment is highly correlated with opioid use disorder according to a 2018 u.s department of health and human services study as the virus racks the economy with job loss and unemployment opioid abuse could rise as the virus crisis worsens now this right here should have made the news but they wanted to talk about chicago this and chicago that Due to social distancing restrictions, traditional substance abuse recovery means like face to face counseling and rehabilitation clinics are unavailable, which has led to a push for virtual treatment options by Hazelden Betty Ford, the largest substance abuse nonprofit in the country. Methadone clinics, which function by doling out methadone prescribed by doctors to mitigate opioid withdrawal and cravings that lead to relapse are unable to operate normally as doing so would violate social distancing guidelines recognizing this substance abuse and mental health services administration is training patients for home methadone treatment and allowing telemedicine visits for buprenorphine users another drug to treat the OUD and previously required regular doctor visits according to Pew. For methadone clinics that continue to be open, people with OUD have expressed concerns about failure to comply with social distancing guidelines and risk of the virus as a result of visiting the clinics. Because opioids act by slowing breathing, people with OUD 
may have diminished lung capacity that could be deadly with the onset of the virus. Last week, the FDA authorized opioid manufacturers to produce and store over 65% of more inventory to meet the demand by healthcare professionals for drugs like fentanyl, morphine, and hydromorphone in treatment for the virus patients, according to Reuters. The implications for this illegal use are unknown. From July 2018 to July 2019, 67,410 died in the United States from drug overdose. 47,105 of those deaths or 69%, which is 19% over half, were opioid related. Now, looking at that number right there, you would think that they would have put that out on blast for the world to see or at least this nation but why didn't they one because mainly the people who were affected by this were palm colored and two quiet as it's kept they really don't care about them they just see them as dispensable disposable I'm sorry after all they couldn't even get 45 to declare it a national uh, a national emergency Still, headlines about opioids have fallen behind those of the virus. The U.S. is now the country with the largest number of virus cases at 325,185 with 9,368 fatalities. Further, people with OED are less likely to live in situations conducive to social distancing as this population is more likely to be homeless or incarcerated, according to Health Affairs. Reading all of that, you already know what I'm about to say. I feel absolutely nothing. It is what the fuck it is. Looks like they have some bootstraps they need to pull up. A lot of them. Because how much you want to bet if this virus was around during the crack epidemic that they would not even write that article up about them seems to me palm colored people have more of a fight on their hands than they anticipated well for those of them who are on those drugs as far as I'm concerned that is not my problem that's something they're going to have to work out themselves isn't that what they would have told us They love to use that pull yourself up by your bootstraps line when it's toward us. But yeah, they they have two pandemics on their hands. You know how like they say in Chicago, they have two pandemics. Well, they have theirs. And the thing is with Chicago, theirs is they only can conducive, not conducive. They can only contain it to Chicago. That opioid plague is nationwide. And it's crazy because. Even if this virus wasn't a thing, they still wouldn't give that much attention to it as they do now, which is little to none. Let's be honest here. Besides me and Lisa Cabrera, what other platform was really talking about this? Let's be real honest here. And see, the virus right now, that's a a huge trending topic. That opioid plague, they they saw that as an isolated incident. That should have been a wake-up call to rural America and suburban America. But it wasn't. They've been gotten that common for, for a few years now. And even in the midst of this virus right now, many of them still choose to act in ass and that's okay because they're getting humbled right now and have been for a few years oh well y'all let me know what y'all think about this down in the comments like share subscribe make sure you follow me on twitter if you haven't done so already have your notifications turned on and i'll talk to you in the next one